she look pleasant? She does, doesn't she? She looks pleasant. She looks like a girl named Carol that lives across the street. Yeah, she looks so nice, doesn't she? Like, she got some cookies for me, and hey, my dad said you can come over and hang out and play video games and swim in the pool. He's going to throw some burgers and hot dogs on the grill. Let's see what Yahoo News has to say about Supergirl. The title says Supergirl Costume Revealed. First pics of Melissa Benoist. I want to say that I probably said that wrong, but I could be right. In full super suit. The reason why I say that is because Chris Benoit last name was kind of spelled like that, right? And Chris Jericho would make fun of him and call him Chris Benoit all the time. So I don't know if I'm saying that right, but maybe I am. It says, hey there, Supergirl. Warner Bros. <laughs> Warner Bros. has released the first two images of Melissa Benoist as the titular character in Titler? Titular? Yeah, titular. I said titular. It's probably titular. I said, you know what? If I was still messing with Sarah, Sarah would know how to pronounce that. That's not a common word right there, goddammit. Because she read all the time. You know, she was the, you know, the, um, she had the master's degree in literature. So, anyway, uh, titular. The titular. Okay, I sounded it out. Hooked on phonics. They taught phonics when I was in school. They stopped teaching that shit now. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, so the titular character is CBS pilot for Supergirl. And she's looking, well, super. It says the former Glee star begins shooting the pilot this week in which she plays Kara Danvers, a.k.a. Kara Zor-El, who... who escapes the destruction on Krypton to join her cousin on Earth. Uber producer Greg Berlanti, who shepherds fellow DC comic shows Arrow and the Flash, is behind the project. The high-profile pilot also features Mekad Brooks as Jimmy Olsen, Lara uh, Benati as... Allura Zorel, Kalista, Fla Kalista Flockhart as, as Cat Grant, Kyler Lay. And why everybody got all these fucking difficult ass? See, Jeremy Jordan. See how fucking easy that was? Everybody else's name was, you know what I mean? Everybody want to be different. If Supergirl gets the green light at CBS, it would be the first network superhero series with a female lead in over a decade. Yeah, probably since Wonder Woman! Wonder Woman! A few years ago, NBC tried to make one about Wonder Woman, written by another Uber producer, David E. Kelly, and starring Friday Night Lights, uh, Adrian Palecki. At the time, Palecki's costume was Roundly criticized. Yeah, it just uh, it didn't do nothing for me. You know what I'm saying? I, I still like the old Wonder Woman. That's my girl right there. Linda Carter. Woo! So this time Supergirl outfit was made by Oscar winning costume designer Colleen Atwood, who said, In designing Supergirl, I wanted to embrace the past, but more importantly, thrust her into the street style action hero of today. And I was going to say that the uh, outfit kind of reminds me of. Man of Steel, you know, with the texture on it, the muted colors, you know, so it, it, that's what it reminds me of. I'm cool with it. We'll see how the show goes. You know what I mean? I'm not really a Supergirl fan. I'm more a fan of Superman. But, hey, anybody Kryptonian, I can watch a show about pretty much. Need a show, you know what I'm saying, about Val Zod. Young black actor with the build and Joel Bowman to play him. I wonder who that could be. Probably has almost 100,000 subscribers and eventually will have millions. Warner Brothers, don't overlook a good thing.
Post comments down below. Let me know what you think about the new Supergirl. And hit the like button if you like my little story here. If you didn't like it, uh, hit the like button. Okay. One million subscribers. 3,000 subscribers away from a 100,000 subscribers plaque. Woo!